Looking forward to it, LT. On the EOD tech. Ah, uh, so the first to die. I can't just fucking with you. I'm probably the first to die. So when I first got the idea for Vet TV back in 2016, I just wanted to make the veteran community laugh. Donnie's pretty offensive at times, especially if you're not the audience he's aiming for, and you're probably not. If you are a civilian, this content isn't for you. But the questionable humor has been embraced by who Vet TV says is a mostly veteran audience, one who has helped support Vet TV in creating a ton of expensive, highly produced niche content in its first year. <laughs> when you put it that way, I guess I did get molested. <laughs> Vet TV is specifically targeting frontline Army and Marine Corps infantrymen who spent the most time fighting on the ground. I got one! I got one! Suck my dick, bitch! We got fucking people beating off porter shitters. We got people fucking dying and others laughing about it. People getting shot and others laughing about it. We got all kinds of Marines talking about killing other Marines. Don't you want to bet LT's thinking about wasting this guy right here? How about that shit, huh? You want to fucking cry about that? Well, guess what? That's what fucking happens. Because war is not politically correct. Fuck it. it. Sounds like she fit in the old butt sex anyway. Hollywood's portrayal of the military in movies like 12 Strong are almost always about heroism and success on the battlefield. But according to Donnie, those are feel-good propaganda pieces made for civilians. It's five bucks, come on. We have it on the mobile app, the computer, the television. Give it a shot. 